Hi and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. My name is Carol and we are back on medical devices. Today we'll take a look at the new EU understanding of the definition of equivalence in clinical evaluations. Let's dive right in. What everybody, really everybody should know. In the EU, when it comes to clinical evaluation of medical devices, the term equivalence quite often was about the CE mark of a new product. If the manufacturer was able to convince the notified body that their product was equivalent to another medical device that was already CE marked, then it received a CE mark as well, without further clinical studies. That was of course the reason why many medical device companies tried to convince the notified bodies that their new medical devices were not that innovative, but rather equivalent to an older model or to a model of a competitor. But what happens when a medical device company states that every new version of the new medical device is equivalent to the last CE marked versions? The new device would still be very different to the version from 10 years ago which had already been tested in a clinical trial. In April 2020, the Medical Device Coordination Group published a new guide on how to interpret the term equivalent. These guidance are not legally binding, but should reflect the best practices for the manufacturers and notified bodies. Let's break this down a bit. First, when we talk about equivalence, we talk about three different types of characteristics technical, biological, and clinical characteristics. What's a little bit tricky is that the definitions in the MDR and the MEDEF 2.71 revision 4 don't completely match. Our recommendation would be to utilize the definitions of the MDR considered a hard law, whereas the MEDEF is considered a soft law. Generally, the MDR defines the technical characteristics as following. The device is of similar design, is used under similar conditions of use, has similar specifications and properties including physiochemical properties such as intensity of energy, tensile strength, viscosity, surface characteristics, wavelength and software algorithms, uses similar deployment methods where relevant has similar principles of operation and critical performance requirements. Biological characteristics are defined as following. The device uses the same materials or substance in contact with the same human tissues or body fluids for a similar kind and duration of contact and similar release characteristics of substances including degradation products and leachables. And clinical characteristics refers to the device is used for the same clinical condition or purpose including similar severity and stage of disease, at the same site in the body, in a similar population, including regards of age, anatomy and physiology, has the same kind of user, has similar relevant critical performance in view of the expected clinical effect for a specific intended purpose. To demonstrate the equivalence of medical devices, the manufacturer needs to prove that they are similar to the extent that there would be no clinical significant difference in the safety and clinical performance of the device. Considerations of equivalence should be based on proper scientific justification. To support manufacturers to clearly demonstrate equivalence and to identify the supporting data on a device-by-device -device basis, the working group created an equivalence table. On the first column are examples of items considered as such. They must not be interpreted as an exhaustive list of specifications, properties, parameters, and or aspects for demonstrating equivalence to another device. The manufacturer should identify differences and place emphasis on the differences between the two devices rather than the similarities. Consideration should include the potential additive effect of multiple small differences. Scientific justifications shall be provided for the different characteristics when claiming no clinical significant difference in the safety and the clinical performance of the device. Where more than one device is assessed for equivalence, the table should be completed separately for each presumed equivalent device. The documentation of the demonstration of equivalence should be included in the clinical evaluation report. 
We'll cover the clinical evaluation report in another video soon. And that's it from us today. We think this guideline is extremely helpful. We hope you also find it helpful. It just shows you that the demonstration of the term equivalence is not so easy anymore. However, this guide helps us make it possible in several cases. Until next time, goodbye. Hey there, don't forget to like and subscribe.